Hello everyone and welcome back to Divide and Conquer and finally we are back at Dorgoldur. I was on vacation for just about a week and then came back and was just a bit busy, couldn't really do any recording so I apologize for that. But finally I have some time again, it is Sunday, I've done my yard work and all my errands so I can finally sit down and I did a little bit of modding for the Goldur campaign. I have finally added some runic units that will only be found in the regions of Rovanian and uh, and Rune over here, and should be Dorinian too, it should also include them. But if we go to our barracks, we can train Daratai Warriors, Balkoth Spearmen, and Balkoth Tribesmen. I'm starting with these guys for now, I may add more, I was considering the Arlad Dragon Guard because they kind of mesh in really well with the silver armor of the Kamuls kind of Shadow Knights and those units, but I decided we'll start with those three. They're very simple. Uh, if it was just the Balkoth, it's pretty boring, I think, just to have Spearmen and some Javelin men. I mean, we already kind of have that covered with the roster, but I figured having the Daratai Warriors was kind of a nice, you know, bond between us and Rune to basically signify the alliance that we don't actually have at the moment, now that I think about it. But we'll probably do this pretty vanilla. We'll see if I end up fighting them or not, but for now, that is how it works. Balkoth units here, and then the Daratai, just because I felt like it. We may add the Lok Gamp Rim later, the Pikeman variant, I think that is, and then the... not the Lok Nar Rim. We won't do Fire Archers, but we might do the Lok Flag Rim for the Armor Piercing, but that will not be for some time. We, yeah, so we just started the siege on, on a Drykarn, so I believe this is actually at an end turn. So I guess while this happens, I'll tell you guys a little bit about the vacation. I spent uh, spent some time up in Hawaii, and uh, actually had to fly home a couple days early because of a injury that I had uh, from doing some horseback riding. But besides that, I had a great time. Weather was a little bit cloudy, but it was nice. Uh, had really good food and met up with a second cousin that I've never met before in my life and he's a cool guy and works at like a like a golf course up there on the big island but I had fun and uh you know I would definitely do it again and I would definitely ride those horses again even though I had a bit of a fall but I fell off that horse and I got right back up on that horse all right Chieftain Lagarin getting Naglug uh, no I don't care about him now as for some behind the scenes modding uh Dunland is currently um, still under development, and there's a lot of discussion happening uh, between the developers about kind of how the roster is going to be, so hasn't been decided yet, but I have high hopes, very high hopes for Dunland in the future, and I think that potentially they might be the most well-polished faction, at least for the Wild Men. They're shaping up to be something great, and I can't wait to actually play them. I mean, I played them with the in the test builds, but they currently don't have the roster changes outside of a couple of units here and there. Alright, uh, we failed a mission to send an emissary to Dorinian, but I don't really care about that. We'll probably end up crushing them at some point, although I kind of like Dorinian. Maybe we'll ally turn against Rune, I don't know. Let's see here. We're going to keep besieging at Dreykarn. I want to get a couple more watchtowers, like two more turns. That way we can just get up right up to the walls and basically... Well, I guess it's only two units. If we assault it, do they get garrisons? No, they don't, but we will besiege it one more turn. That way we have two two to three watchtowers that we can use. In fact, they have some reinforcements on the way, so it's a good thing that we are doing this now. Aglericor, I guess you're going that way. Chieftain Lagarin's going to be kind of in charge of holding all of this land. Now, they do have uh, Bjorn's Woods here. We have Leodhold, which I think we want to go for, but we don't have any vision up here. We have this spy. Let's move you over there. Yeah, Leodhold looks like it's pretty much good for the taking. Let's grab these cell swords. that way we have kind of a heavy anvil to utilize here. But yeah, let's just go right in, build two rams. And uh, no idea what's in there, we can't even tell. Hopefully they don't have any big armies hiding in the woods, that would be most unfortunate. We have no money though, that's sad. So we actually can't even train the new Balkoth units just yet. Once we build these barracks though, we can. And it uh, looks like all we need to do is go over here. Whatever settlement. Is it Carverad? No, Carverad's up here. This is Burr Alge, if I remember. And we need to start worrying about Dale. We aren't at war with them, but I worry that we will be. But uh, we should have everything it takes for Dale. They do have very powerful archers and longbowmen. 
uh, with tons of range, but we have orcs and plenty of goblins. That's the thing about orcs that I kind of like, is that when you play as the orcs, you don't have to worry about, like, taking casualties. Like, it, it, there's nothing that's really that bad for you to deal with. If you take losses, it's fine. And when you fight orcs, I mean, it's, it's easy enough to crush their morale and everything, but when you have Nazgul leading them, you don't really need to worry about them running away. It's not like, like Warhammer Total War, where your units can easily run away if your leader isn't by them, or they get kind of penalized. In this game, like, it seems like your general almost has like a global effect for leadership. So as long as he's going, typically your guys will go. Why is Mistran besieged? What? That must be a uh, that must be Dorinian. Let's just take a quick peek. I just want to see. Yeah, Dorinian at Lust and at Mistran. So you know what? That might not be good for Rune. They might actually falter in this campaign. Ah, it's Vilter, and that is a huge garrison of Ravanian troops. We are not even going to think about attacking that for a moment. Alaren's going to keep setting up those watchtowers. Yep, Dorinian and Rune at war. What a big fight that they're about to have. Well, without any further ado, let's go into Edraikarn. Yatian is defending it. He's got a gardener, some elvish rope, and architect. And he also brings forth cavalry and Lorian scouts. Nothing too threatening for us. We vastly outnumber this man. 1,500 to 200. He would have to make every arrow seriously count. Now, and that's also the thing, if we were playing as the elves, I think we could win this battle. We could at least kill everything but Kamul, but when it comes to Kamul, I think that's when we would falter. But we could definitely kill off the rest of the army. Let's wait away this fog. Good stuff, good stuff. Goblins up to the front gates. Uh, scouts, I guess, will be the ones taking the walls. That works. Goblin headhunters, good too. Move these Mirkwood headhunters up. I'm just, I just want them to shoot early if possible oh that's not what i meant to do did not mean to hit control a there and select every unit you guys there and yep that'll do start running up lads actually mirkwood hunters are already in range that is fantastic move you guys up too lagarin get up there oh no that's come why am i thinking that's lagarin looks like they actually will abandon the walls and they actually only have 40 well 46 in the general's unit Lurian Scouts, I doubt the Mirkwood Hunter is going to get any kills. This avenue might hit a few guys here and there as they shoot down this kind of curvy bit in the walls here. I did mess a little bit more with Blender to kind of figure out on creating settlements, but uh, I'm still not good at it. And I honestly, because I'm going to be having more university classes in, in fall shortly at the end of this month, or I guess into next month, I'm not sure if I can actually do it, guys. I'm hoping I can at least do some basic battle map editing, and it seems quite fun, but it's very technical, and I have a lot going on. All right, let's just put this on time six as our units take a load. Of oh, hello. Looks like they are just going to attack us straight up. Okay. In that case, we are going to get off of the, the tower here. Come on, lads, get off. Goblin stalkers maybe also get off the tower. I want to start shooting into those scouts, and we'll move Kamul up. Those Mirkwood goblins are not going to have a good time. You guys run over there. Nope, get off the walls. Just throw javelins, please. We need to kill those Lorian scouts, and they should die very quickly. Yep, there we go. Come on, get, in, get inside the settlement before they get away. Don't let them get away. Alright, let's take the walls again. Okay, perfect. We're actually set. We don't even need to take the walls. Just hop in there, lads. Scouts are getting up on there. We've killed uh, five archers or so, maybe seven. Now, we do have Elbrus Sentinels right there that we're fighting. We're going to let Kamul just kind of soak up that damage, get the headhunters in here. Come on, goblins, run through the gates. Kamul shouldn't die. He should be good to go. Problem's going to be dealing with that infantry. Come on, guys, get in there. Yeah, capture those Lurian archers before they get away. Uh, let's use some terror now. Let's see if that'll help us with this fight. Lurian scouts under 21. Sentinels are still doing well. Why don't you guys run up the walls and you guys can throw some javelins? I'm going to pull Camel out so that we can throw javelins at the uh, Elbreath Sentinels. Come on, Camel, get out of there. Get out of there, lads. 
Throw the javelins. I think they're AP. They might not be, though. These basic ones, not sure, but I love the new arrowheads. Yeah, they must not be AP. That didn't do much. Yeah, nope, definitely not. You guys keep on fighting. Lorian archers going down. You guys throw your javelins from up on the walls. These ones should be AP. Come on, guys. You have the high ground. Throw those javelins. Sentinels still have 38. But they're taking a bunch of volleys. You guys keep fighting. Yeah, I don't think they're going to be able to actually throw. They're having some issues. Well, one did. Okay, that's not bad. Why don't you guys also throw javelins at those uh, scouts if you can? Come on, Kamul, finish up those guys. 31 of those remain. So a few stalker volleys, and we will kill off the Elbereth Sentinels. Ah, oh, yeah, there we go, taking even more javelin fire. At least those guys can fire from the walls. I don't know why these ones couldn't. Alright, lads, keep going that way. They're just being rained on by all those uh, javelins. Are you guys still not able to fire? What are you doing? Okay, I'm not sure what is going on with these goblin stalkers. This is quite annoying. Come on, lads. Just shoot. Do you guys need to shut down those? Are they going to fire now? Finally, they're going to fire. There we go. Throw the javelins. These ones are actually armor-piercing. Oh, that was a weak volley. Throw them faster than that. What are you guys doing? Are they not actually armor-piercing? No, they definitely are, but I guess it's only six. They're taking so much damage right now. Come on, lads. Fire again. They're firing like they're Snaga skirmishers instead of, like, doing volley fires. So they're only throwing a few javelins at a time, which is annoying. Come on, get in there, lads. Alright, maybe, maybe move them here. Ah, cities, I hate them. Uh, you guys run around the back. Come, we'll start to cap the gate. Come on, goblins. What are you doing with your formation? It's so messed up right now. Alright, try, th try it again. 100 javelins, 10 Elbereth Sentinels, armor-piercing javelins. That should finish them off. Are you guys still working on these spearmen? Oh my goodness, they are. Not spearmen, but the archers. There we go. This should hopefully finish them off. Come on. These guys can really absorb these javelins. They still have most of their ammo. and There's only five of them left. I mean, this is better than doing it in melee, but we're taking so many casualties. Come on, keep throwing. Keep on chucking. Alright, they're down to only two. Ah, oh, and the general's actually dead. He got killed by the, the javelins. It's perfect. Finally, they're done. Okay. Now, you guys, take care of the last of the Lorian archers, and this battle will be over. And there it is. That was a little bit annoying, but I can't believe the general died before the rest of his bodyguard. That almost never happens, especially when you're shooting at them. And the Dreykarn falls. Should we exterminate it or occupy it? Looks like we can just occupy it, so let's just do that for now and convert it over to our culture. It has only 3%, but we can hang out here for a little while with Kamul and build it up. I didn't really want to destroy anything by exterminating it. I mean, we can still use a lot of this. So, we have these reinforcements. They can kind of hold the land here. We do have another army, so we might want to send in some extra archers this way. I think we'll... No, we'll keep defending the town. The Leod Holt, you're under siege. Actually, we can just take you also. Bastrade is the only man here, so it's just some Greenwood Foresters. We can honestly kill him with a unit of goblins. Well, at least maybe two units of goblins. Goblin Archers and Goblin Warband. But we'll send in Lagarin because he's got the heavy armor and shields. Oh, Fastrade, why don't you have anyone with you, man? Why are you alone out here? Alright, start deployment. You lads up front. You lads over here, Scouts and Lagarin. This will be a super fast battle. I mean, all we need to do is pretty much get through the gates and send in our infantry. He will start to shoot at us soon here. He's got amazing range. He's also got the high ground. But there's no way he'll be able to deal with uh, a unit of Castellans. He's starting to fire down. Hopefully he's going to hit the goblins. Good. 
He's destroying those goblins, though. They are not having a good time. Like, yeah, they got destroyed there by those shots. All right. That's what we'll run up this way. All right, perfect. You lads get up here. We're working on getting the javelins up, too. You lads can just start to walk up. Let the goblins take the damage. I always love this settlement. Like, the, the wild men settlements, I think, are some of the funnest to fight in. Because there's so much open space, high ground, hills, all that sort of stuff that you can really just utilize to your full potential. Alright, they're starting to shoot the javelins, but of course they are. Lagrin, get up there. Scouts, get around the flanks. Let you guys go to this flank. Hop in. Come on, get in deep. Get in deep. Come on, lads, what are you doing? Come on, throw those javelins, please. There we go. Taking them down to about 50, 40, 33. And they are getting crushed right now. And the general is dead. Do one last terror scream to kill off the last of these poor sods. So what was AI doing abandoning this settlement and leaving only fast tread here? 96 to 98, one, one for one is a very good trade. I wonder if they're having issues with Gundabed. Is this the Battle of the Five Armies? This is. I don't think I've actually ever seen this artwork before. I think there's something like, what, 300 different loading screens? But I don't think I've ever seen this one. This is... This one's actually really cool. I like this one more than the one with the bear. We got the bats, the eagles, this giant goblin here. This dwarf is stabbing this guy. And I'm guessing... I don't know if that's Thorin or who that could be. Someone's got an axe, though, and they are... They definitely know how to use it. And Leonholt falls. We might need to exterminate it. Yeah. It's sad, but we have to do it. We lose some buildings. But it was going to hate us anyway. And I don't want to deal with having to simply camp in a settlement for a long time. Up here on the front, at least. We are right there at Bjorn's Halls, and we are also about to um, occupy where the elves are. Obviously, dealing with the Anduin first is better than trying to deal with it all at the same time. We have a decent garrison in Anathaur, and we need to get, like, some watchtowers up here. Glaricor, why don't you build some watchtowers up on the corner? And, uh, we sh- Oh, look, they're gonna go for Burr South this. Okay, that's not good. Alright, you lads need to pull out. It's gonna take you two turns. We'll send in the Dorgolder host. Looks like Dale is looking to fight us. Uh, of course they are. But we can, we can defend that stuff in time. I think besides that, I mean, that's all, most of our money. We're going to make more next turn. And we'll use that to train troops or build a barracks somewhere. And another candidate, but he has no good traits, so I'm not going to take him. Although, honestly, eh, we might want to actually start having generals. I just realized how much territory we have. If we send an emissary to Rune, we'll get some money. So let us do that. Rad, look, head all the way down there, please. Now, did Dale... Dale is still there. We'll occupy this, just to make sure that they don't have any funny ideas. And Ulyron, I guess, I mean, we might need him to deal with this. Leo Freak's bowing is right there. We need to secure Ravanian, that is, that is absolutely true. But we need to also secure this area and get vision. So Ulyron, head up that way. Join up with Captain Crook. Little Watchtower there, and we'll spend money to get the barracks in Logarth. And then we can get Balkoth units there. Now, as for Dorlingvar, you could get some units. Uh, and we probably should get some Maulers, Host, and Hunters up in that fort. So let's do that one, two, and... Oh, we can't afford the Maulers. That's fine. Actually, I think three units of Dorgolder Host will be best for that uh, village. Now, Bjorn's Halls has a very large garrison along with Lord Bjorn. So we can't really push out yet. Let's check the west side. Fenholm is right there. I'm not worried about Fenholm. It is just some hobbits. Kamul, go ahead and put a watchtower up about halfway if you wouldn't mind. They do have a full elven force making their way for Edraikarn. So we're going to need these uh, these reinforcements from Aknadion. We have no more money. Uh, we can send these guys up to the front. Let's do that. We need to basically just deal with Lorien and get Lim here and then Karis Galadhan. At least trigger the last end army sooner than later and work on grinding them down. And that way we can have a ton of money and just start working our way up the river. 
and if we have everyone go north it'll be much easier than having this split where we're split west east and north our only safe side is our south side and we have plenty of goblins to really hold out for a minute but not forever we got a watchtower there no how about there no all right no watchtowers are able to be built in this region and i think i'm definitely going to need to take an orc general very soon in fact, we'll take the next candidate for adoption, even if he's not that good. Do we even have one anywhere? Okay, we have Gazhorn who's hanging out at Dora Nowerhawk, which we don't really need him to be at, like, honestly. He can probably go up north and do better up there. Captain Radbug is on his way. Ularon's on his way. All right, another end turn. Uh, there we go. Now, that's a general with some traits. Corkall, adopt... Well, he's adopted, but talent for command, promising attacker, strong at the walls, loyal... That's a lot of stuff. Taste for flesh. Bad for farming, but good for fighting. Dolom Roth expands. Okay, good to know that they're doing good. I always like it when Dolom Roth does, does good. Anduin, of course, is faltering. Now, where did we get that general? Oh, hello! Hello, Rohan. Please go away. I don't want to deal with you right now. Like, I really don't want to deal with you right now at all. In fact, you guys might need to go join up with Radbug, who's attempting to hold the line right now he can't cross which is annoying could we get units here when we have five percent we can we might want to save up for that barracks that way we can also train better units those guys got shrines that's nice to see and leod holt is still just chilling oh there he is there's Korkal. okay that's perfect that he's actually at the front line this place is still rebel, so we'll probably make a push for Bjorn's Halls, but no guarantee that it will be a good push, as our army is not that strong. I mean, if we pull all of these goblins, it might be okay. And after all, we're not really worried about defending Anathar. It's a very poor region. We're definitely going to need Korkal in this assault, so uh, yeah, we might as well just get ready for the fight. Put that there. Mag come back we pretty much have to start taking the fight to them even though this army is abysmally weak and we have Arthrog Arthrog could also go up there ah oh, yes we can actually train some archers archers and javelins now we can afford two of them question is do we want the bows or do we want the javelins I think we'll want the bows I think we need to have lots of long-range missiles and 22 um, shots at 160 meter range with three damage versus three at five i think that's better so we'll grab those two it's gonna be a lot of archers that we're gonna use in the bjorn's halls fight now i don't really want to declare war on rohan yet but we can't really move Radbug here now can we and those guys are right there so we need to wait I mean, if we attack them now, that gives us the room, but then Rohan's going to start coming up this way, which is going to be annoying. And we're very widespread out. I don't think we have a choice but to go to war against Dale right now. So, Lyron might need to deal with that guy and just get him off our land before he starts causing us too much trouble. What does he even have? It's just a unit of Northmen militia. One unit. One single unit. At least that means we'll be able to push up this way and secure the river. But then we're going to deal with Darwinian. So, I mean, it's just going to be all-out war at this rate. Uh, do we want to send these guys north? Hmm, this is tough. This is very tough. Be a few turns till they can get up that way, but it's better than nothing. I mean, four or five turns. Or we can get up here to this city. Let's have them go up north. We're not making much money. We're going to be losing money. But if we can just get our reinforcements here and take out this guy. And in fact, we pretty much do have to take him out. Yep, kill him. Ah, oh, wait, we're out of range. Are you serious? Oh, it's so annoying. I guess if we take these Thorgolder host out, though, we can attack him. It's annoying to just do one battle against one single Northman militia. But I do like the new Dale looks. I don't know if they were in version 4.5 or not. But I do like how they've been kind of changed to look like more rugged farmers. Oh, other new art. This is... Do I've never seen this one either. This must be Dogaldur or some elven place. That's cool. I like it. 
I right, start the battle, put it on time six. And now Dale looking very rugged and very Russian. Uh, you lads all run up here, please. Fast as you can. I wonder who would actually win, the, the militia or the host. Something tells me it'd be the militia. Lyron, get down here, please. Please start shooting. Alright, you lads, get ready to engage. Archers, fire. Scouts, move up. We don't have anything that's too expendable. You let's pull them this way. Merc Maulers. These archers could probably go into melee. Maybe kill off these rune mercs. Keep on shooting, lads. Okay, we'll send in these scouts to get up close and personal. How are they doing? Still at 203, so they still have most of their force. Come on, lads, keep running away. You guys, throw those javelins. Alright, perfect. And let's go in. Send in the maulers, use the serpent elixir. And then have everyone just run in there. They should route any moment now. Being hit with poison arrows, being charged. Yep, they instantly route on contact with the orc maulers. If you look at the size of those axes, those things are huge. Those things are absolutely massive. My goodness. Uh, cut them down. Grab a few more if you can, lads. 67. Looking good. Looking very good. Yep, they're turning that way. We'll kill off most of this unit if we can. Hey, lads, start running away. Let them kill the rest with arrow fire. 31. Very good, very good work indeed. Now, the bad thing about this is we've started open war with Dale. But the good thing is we've opened more places to expand to. And we just need to hope that Dorwinian won't bother us for a while. If we go up the river running, more trade, more settlements, and less places for Dale to get strong. So we're really just rushing the north. Yeah, let's ransom them. Get 82 gold plus the camp sacking. Captain Radog, yeah, let's take you. You've got management talent. You can actually hang out. Wow, you suck, actually. You're awful. Absolutely terrible. Well, these guys will join up with Ulyron, who will run up north. Aglaricor will also work on taking this side, while Ulyron goes over here and kind of defends us from Dorwinian. And I think that's it for this turn again. We're waiting on reinforcements. Oh, and we are definitely losing some money now. Minus 493. Let's take a look at that. So, oh, we're losing a thousand gold a turn right now. That is not good. We need to start pushing for... Uh, definitely for Karis Galadhan. But you and Dorgolder, maybe you can make us some extra money there. Yeah, let's keep pulling up. Chieftain Lagarin, get a watchtower right there if you can. No, you can't. Alright, pull back. He gets attacked, that's not good. We do have these two archers that can join up with him, so let's do that. We did get a war cage done at Dorgoldur. And Ulyron is on his way now with Captain Yagug. If we put these guys in the fort, that'll alleviate some of the financial burden. Now Glaricor, can you finish that man off for me? Just do that, auto-resolve it, and ransom. Alright, that's something at least. Now there's a village up in here, we can take that and then push for the settlement there. And we're moving our reinforcements to fight Captain Arfinian, and then we'll go for probably Lin here. And then we'll be all set. And when Captain Ashrak here, I think with him we can... I mean, taking the settlement's going to be hard, but maybe fighting it in a field battle with all the archers. That might be our best bet for victory, just sheer amounts of archers. Now if we send this guy to Rune... Uh, and get some trade rights, maybe. Uh, we'll get some money. And let's sell map information, because we we need some money, like, right now. So that for a thousand gold, they'll take it. Good, good, good. We're still losing money, but we're only losing 300. So we can use that and spend it somewhere. The question is, where? Where do we spend that money? Oh, we can't even spend it at a Dreykarn. That's not good. 
Maybe Dorgal Dur, Blacksmith, Mirkwood Bodyguards. Hmm. We'll just have to save it for now. I mean, we could actually Duenberg, maybe. We're going to need a lot of good units here. Let's grab Mirkwood Goblins and those two. And, uh, uh, do we need to worry about repairing that? No, we don't. Leodholt, I don't care about that city. At least next turn we'll be able to start the push for Bjorn's Halls, or potentially even just go to Fenholm. Oh, I think taking the capital is going to be much better, and we'll make money. We I mean, could get Oofluck, but, uh... Yeah, we actually really need governors, now that I think about it. Let's take him. Where is he at? He is at Leodholt. That's actually not a bad spot for him. If we can get a meeting hall, it'll give him that free upkeep, which will help him a lot. You guys join Lager, and they have a full stack here, though. Alright, that's a bit scary. Let's start camping up on their land. Let's occupy the village. You guys join him, and we can get one more unit up in his army. God, this army is so whack. Let's actually merge it. That way we know how much we actually have. Okay. It's not a terrible army. It's not a good army. Mirkwood goblins or a scout? Let's do the scouts. In fact, these goblins could go back. And then we can get other Mirkwood goblins. We're losing money, so we need to make moves, like, literally this turn. You guys hang out there. Lord Kamul, I mean, you're definitely strong enough to deal with this man's. Let's have you go up there. You guys sit in, in Edraikarn. And Ulyron. Actually, Aglaricor, finish that guy off again. Why is he still here? Get rid of him. I know it's a little bit cheesy to use auto resolve like that, but you know what? We need we need the money. And Ulyron shall work towards the village. We need to get a spy up here, that's what we need. We only have the one, and he's up in Bjorn's Wood, so at least we know what they have. A lot of cavalry that scares me. Lagrin is one more turn away from besieging it. Right, do we have any other missions? We should check that. Uh where is that tab anyway? Okay, none currently. And Gondor has lost a Thillion. They're not doing great. But honestly, since we're playing evil, it's probably going to mean that evil will take over at the end. Ah, and we got our Barrickstone and Logoth, so we can soon get our Daratai Warriors, Balkoth Spearmen, and Tribesmen. And I'd like to use those guys to reinforce Ulyron, but the time is not now. And there is Robberg. At least they're upgrading it a bit. It has our culture, which is also nice. You go over there. We have Fort Units and... Ah, Aomund is going to try to attack us. That's good. Ah, the Snowworks are down here. That's perfect. All right, so Aomund, we can take you out. That means there's less people to defend Bjorn's Halls. Give it a quick save. This will also give us a quick feel for this army. He must be a skin changer, so as long as we shoot him or charge him, he'll die. Obviously, he'll wreck our infantry. All right, wow, we have a lot of archers. How many is that? That's just a ton. That is a lot. That's like, what, eight? Plus those is like 11. What a firing line, though. Like, what an amazing firing line. Our Castellans will be up front. Mirkwood Goblins here and there. And then some wargs. That's all we really need. Oh, I missed an archer. Nine archers. That's a lot. You guys all go up in that group. You guys will go here. Start to chase the enemy, please. We're running Axemen and Bandits and Skin Changers. Oh, you guys stop. Fire at will, please. You guys charge the side of those guys and then get out. Perfect. Got in and got out. Look at that fire coming in. Oh my goodness, that is a ton of missiles. Oh my goodness, that was an insane amount of missiles coming in. We might be okay. Let them actually shoot at the skin changers now. Use that uh, charge. Goblins go in. Oh, those skin changers are not going to have a good time. This is actually killing my frame rate, my frame rate somewhat. Through the sheer amount of bow fire. They're taking it well, though. The skin changers are definitely just absorbing these shots. Now they're starting to go down. Now they are relentless, which is one problem. My goodness, are they taking some damage.
Alright, lads, pull out, pull out. Let them take the shots. Works can come in here now. Looks like we've already finished off those armies. Yeah, skin shifters did get pretty deep in the formation. I'm amazed that they actually tanked the damage that well. Like, they did not care. These guys did not care at all. But with a few work charges in the back, they will surely die. On works, hit them right in the back. I know they got two hit points each. But a charge is still a charge. Here they come. Yep, knocking a few of the Bjornings up in the air. Good, good. Kill him. Kill him now. Only 16 remain. One more charge. Actually, let's, let's get these Burning Axemen down before they kill off Kamul by chance. Or the Castellans, whoever they are. Lagarin, a Glaricor, I have no idea. Alright, works in and out, in and out. Only 15 skin changers remain. Oh, look at them. They're just sending our uh, hunters flying. This will kill a few more. Very good. I pull them out. We can retreat and potentially build a new firing line. That'll help a lot. Seven remain. Let's go in for another charge. These wargs. Oh, are they going to counter charge? Let's see, are they? Nope, they're going to go in for someone else, which is good. Pull out, lads. Where is Com Where is uh, our general? He'll help fight those guys. Here, start firing, please. Let's see if this will uh, kill the last of them. I mean, that's a lot of damage coming in, and it's definitely a lot of damage. I'm not even worried at all about friendly fire. I mean, what's a few, what's a few Merkwood hunters at the end of the day? Come on, guys, finish him off. He's running away. Come on, big arrow storm. Come on. It's definitely gonna kill a lot of our own hunters. Ah, yes, he's actually running. Perfect. All right, chase him down. Here, don't even shoot. Just chase him down. Get rid of this man's. Did we just lose a warg there? Yes, Fast Red is down. Or no, that was Aomund. Now, we could ransom him and get some money. I don't know if that's the best call. Now, admittedly, I've also been playing some Warhammer and doing a co-op campaign with one of my friends, which is also another reason there's been a lack of content. We've been playing as, uh... We've been playing as Karl Franz of the Empire, and I've been playing as Deathmaster Snickich of the Skaven, and it weirdly works in, like, the strangest way. Now, lore-wise, we just chalk it up to the Empire is paying off the Skaven. And I've started to build undercities in his territory and sap some of his money from him. But it's going swimmingly well. We've nearly destroyed Grimgor. The vampire counts are gone. Uh, no, let's execute them. I don't want to have to fight that man in the city. Now, are we allied with the Snorks? Yes, we are. Oh, why did you go that way, Lagarin? Okay, that's fine. Now, hopefully the Snorks will help us here next turn. And that would be certainly great. We'll, we'll camp out there. I think everyone else has already moved, right? Oh, yes, Kumul can actually fight now. Let's take out Arfinian. He has... Oh, that is a lot of Lorian archers. But it's just archers. And we have Kumul's Shadow Knights. So we counter those perfectly. If we take this down, take down the next general. Lorian has nothing after this army. Just one small general, perhaps their faction leader, and two settlements. That was a really cool image. I don't know which dragon this could possibly be. Maybe on Caligon the Black? Maybe? I mean, he's huge. Or it could just be any generic fantasy dragon. Alright, Kamul and the Wargs will go together. Our front line, goblins of course, just wide formation. They'll take the charges, they'll take the arrows. We have these Mirkwood um, hosts behind with the archers and then have a couple of these headhunters. Put them over here. Merkwood archers also put them right over there to take shots. And that looks good. A few goblin stalkers that'll hide. And we are set. Oh, what the heck is their formation? That's so wild. 
Oh, these are actually a headhunter, so they're in range already. That's good to know. That's actually massive range. What is that? What is that range? 170. That is solid. And shooting the Lurian sentries is a good call. Hopefully Kamul and the wargs can just start to threaten our enemy. Kamul, go ahead and hit those Lurian scouts. We want to shut down their archers before they can do anything. Oh, you guys really wide. That's coming in. That should kill a lot of those scouts. Fantastic. Great work, Kamul. And they're trying to run away. We can just get a quick warg surround. Come on, lads, charge in. Let's use Nazgul Screech. See if we can get them to run away earlier. That would be fantastic. Alright, the engagement is starting to happen. You lads pull away. Wargs, get around. Hit those archers if you can. Now we do need to take care of that ballista. That needs to go down. Here, come on, keep working on the Lorian scouts, please. Jeez, those guys are taking a lot of damage. Alright, goblins, head up now. Host, move up. We can't afford to take any damage here. Ah, oh, either been got into our scouts. That's not good. Why don't you guys start uh, going into loose formation? Run away. Taking way too much damage here. Okay, you guys need to ignore those archers and go for someone else. Alright, these guys are starting to escape with their lives. That's good. They took a lot of damage there. I'm not really worried about the Heather Bean. They're going to be Heather Bean. Uh, Kamul went in. Warg's going in to shut down the Ballista. Excellent work. Kamul's just cutting up these guys, but we have spears on the way. Pull out. You lads, start throwing javelins, please. Guys, keep chasing. Kamul, run away. You guys hit those archers. Kamul, you need to also shut down that Ballista. Now it's your turn. Ah, uh, those archers in that wide formation just getting absolutely demolished. Good. Very good. Very nice. This is very nice indeed. Come on, guys. Keep throwing those javelins. Get the wargs out of here. Why don't you guys actually hit the general? See if you can kill him. It would be very nice if the Cumble Shadow Knights can shut down those guys. That was a terrible charge, though. Absolutely awful. Pull out, lads. What do we have fighting here? Just random Dorgolder host doing the... You know, they're doing their best. Why don't you guys hit these Lurian archers and try to reform? Works. I need you guys to do better than that. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. You guys are fighting those. You guys hit those sentries, please. Kamul. Form up. Form up ranks. These regular hosts are not having a good time. Come on, get the charge. If we can kill that general, we'll win this battle like almost instantly. Oh, you guys need to start firing or something. That right, works. Come on, works. Get over there. You guys, that's too close to charge. All right, we need to shut down all those archers. You guys hit those archers. 39 there, 124 there. How are we doing on this flank? Looks like we're winning. Most of them are dead. Little archers working on those Lorraine archers. Good trade, good trade. You guys charge over there. Why don't you guys actually hit those Lorraine archers? See if you can get a freaky point blank charge. There we go. Works are doing great. Only losing a few uh, wolves so far. Learn archers, though, still fighting. Come on, deal with those. Terror of the Nazgul, use that again. Dude, our middle formation is not doing so well. These Lorian sentries are infighting, and uh, there we go. Since they're infighting and not braced, a charge should work on these spears. Yes, there we go. They're absolutely stunned. 
Uh, we're winning over here. These guys are mostly done. Wargs go in there and shut down the Elbrus Sentinels while Kumul keeps working on the archers. Come on, please get the charge. That's what I like to see. The Goblin Stalker, Anvil, and the Warg Hammer. These wardens are really just fighting to the death, though. I right, come old, get away. Wargs, can you guys actually... Oh, no, pull away, pull away. Maybe help with the healer bin. Looks like the Sentinels are down to only five. Alright, come on, come on, keep moving. Help the middle fight. The struggler host got absolutely destroyed. Come on, come on, get up in there, please. He got caught by the warders, of course he did. They are really just fighting to the death here. You lads run up. Archers keep pulling up. Need you guys to shoot at other archers. Come on, come on. I need you to really carry more weight here. You guys shoot at those. Where is that general? Is he right there? Okay, yes he is. All right, come on, pull out, please. I need to get another big charge with him to finish off the enemy. We have no armor piercing, and that's actually kind of hurting us right now. Word Marauders, what are you working on? Lorian sentries, come on. Kill them all, get rid of the elves. I like the lighting that's going on here, though. It's kind of nice. Alright, most of the archers are already defeated. It's just a few remnants of the elves that still fight because of their general. And we'll just finish those guys off. I don't care if you get stuck in the melee with that guy. Archers still fighting. There's the last of the Elbra Sentinels. If we just kill off the rest of the army, he'll surely rout. If he works, you might be able to finish him off. Ah, yes, the archers are running away. Good, chase them down, Kamul. Come on, please kill that general. He's so weak right now. Good, everything except for that general is still fighting. And he should be dead any time. Alright, come on, pull out. It's literally just the general now. Okay. Come on, keep dealing with him. Ah, yes, he has finally fallen. My goodness, that was a brutal battle. I should have checked who got the most kills. Alright, we're going to exterminate those guys. Can't have elves running around anywhere. Lord Cumwell the Mighty has gotten a new trait. Oh, that's, I love it. Alright, Atheronin, you're next, and then Lim here is next. There's no more playing games with you, Lorian. He's a legendary commander. We're still losing money, but we will be turning the tides here. I'm going to end the turn one more time. We can push for Rawberg, and then start the siege on Buren's Souls, and I'm hoping the Snowworks will help us with that fight. I'm hoping if we besiege it, I'm hoping they'll just stand next to it and we can send them in. Because honestly, we're going to need their help for that battle. It's going to be a tough one, but it's good to know that the Snowworks have been doing well. And that we have a strong ally in the north. In the west we have the Goblins of the Misty Mountains, who probably aren't doing much of anything at all. And they don't do anything on the east side anyway, they mostly just go for the west. Which gives Anduin some breaks. And with L when Lorien falls, we can then push for Khazad-dûm. Alright, this is good. The Glaricor, go ahead and head right there. This is still Rebel, so that gives us a nice barrier. Ah, uh, they didn't, uh, they didn't keep sieging it. Okay, well, we're gonna just start to besiege it out. We're not really gonna plan to attack it for a few turns. We might as well build some siege towers. And the other nice thing about the siege towers is that we can use them to make walls. To protect ourselves from the uh, cavalry that they have. Alright, Leodholt does not like us that much right now. Let's get that slave pit. And oh, are they going to really run over the mountain right now? Uh, we need to deal with him. We need him dead. It's only a Ballista, Gurdnan, and himself. I'll probably just take care of this one off screen because it's such a minor battle. And we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. So thank you for watching, guys. If you have, hit that subscribe button if you uh, want to keep seeing beta content for Divide and Conquer version 5. And we will 
soonish be getting a new campaign rolling. I say soonish because there's some discrepancy happening in the Discord right now for the changes to Dunland, but I can't wait to actually start playing them for you guys. So until next time, this has been Sir Agamund, and I will see you guys on the next episode. Farewell.